selection of motor power rating. Uh, this is an imp important topic uh, while beginning the design of any drive system. So uh, there are certain uh, few fundamentals that are to be uh, taken care of or uh, uh, say remembered when uh, you go for a selection of a motor for a drive system. The very first thing is that, that uh, first of all, the load characteristics are defined. As I have told you, the first of all, the load characteristics are defined. And then, the load characteristics are defined. And then, the load characteristics are defined. the load characteristics are defined. After that, uh, what actually happens is that, that um, you will have to choose a certain motor that can drive that load system. <laughs> Choosing obviously um, involves uh, the speed torque requirements to be met. You must have certain uh, point of inter intersection of the characteristics um, and certain desired points of uh, intersection of characteristics because you require the load to be run at a certain speed and a certain torque. So you have to bring down the motor characteristics to those ones or those operating points which make the motor characteristics uh, intersect to the load characteristics at the desired point. Okay, just like you saw it, but the stability was checked. So the very first thing is that we choose a characteristic and then we go for alteration of it. These are all the things that we will do in the future. Most importantly, what you saw was that that the um, starting talk was a very important criteria because um, if that is not met, then in that case, um, the drive won't start. So there's no question of uh, system getting unstable or uh, operating anything like that. Okay, so it is very important that uh, the starting talk should be met. Now, the thing is that, that um, you can also have um, different types of uh, motors that can run that particular load or you can have different ratings of your motors that can run that load. Obviously, the rating equal to and higher than that can always run that machine, that load system. If there is machine that has a higher rating of load, it can always run that machine, it can always run that machine, it can always run that machine. But still the thing is that, that you will have to optimize your operation because of the economical aspect of these drive systems. Uh, secondly, and the power source is very much also important uh, because um, the power type of power what you have or the type of source in fact what you have is also very important uh, when you consider the motor to be chosen to, to drive that particular drive system. Okay, even though you put converters after it, but still, uh, managing those converters is uh, not that simple. Okay, you can go for um, any level of complexity. So, you, while choosing um, a motor for a particular drive system, you will also have to consider the type of source what you have. Say you have a DC source, then it is um, uh, most of the times advisable to have a DC motor because a conversion from uh, DC to AC, uh, sorry, uh, DC to AC if you put an AC motor instead of DC. So, um, uh, is not that simple always. But at times um, when you have a uh, DC motor, it is um, quite um, uh, quite easy to obtain a DC from AC by simply putting a uh, simple rectifier. Even then the uh, complexity of operation of that rectifier is not that much. And uh, you can run your machine like that. So you have certain choices, but uh, uh, these are uh, basic choices what we what you have. But still, even before this, you will have to uh, consider the mm -hmm. uh, economical aspect of your system. Yes, I did see that you have a source, how much you have to put a load, how much you have to put a load, how much you have the very first and the foremost thing is that you will have to consider the economic, economy, economical aspect of that particular drive system. 
ठीक है तो एक तो इकोनॉमिकल उसकी बात हुई दूसरी तरफ ये बात हुई कि दैट इफ यू हैव ए मोटर रेटिंग टू बी इक्वल टू और ग्रेटर देन द लोड रिक्वायरमेंट्स देन यू कैन ऑलवेज रन दैट सिस्टम ठीक है तो जैसे आपके पास कोई एक लोड एक जगह से दूसरी जगह ले जाना है ठीक है तो वो अगर किसी छोटे पिकअप ट्रक में भी जा सकता है तो वो उससे बड़े मिनी वैन ट्रक में भी जा सकता है और उससे बड़ा फुल साइज ट्रक में भी जा सकता है और उसके बाद जो है वो और जो आपका टेन टायर्ड वही किला है उसमें भी जा सकता है ठीक है तो ये ऐसा होता है कि आगे वन वंस इट कैन बी मेट विद ए स्मॉलर मोटर ऑब्वियसली इट कैन बी मेट विद ए लार्जर मशीन बट स्टिल इट वॉन्ट दे वॉन्ट बी इकोनॉमिकल इन दैट एस्पेक्ट सो द मोटर रेटिंग चूजिंग इज ए वेरी important aspect when you go for drive selection theek okay, hai why just the very first thing is that due to the economy economy in terms of capital as well as running costs theek okay, hai agar aap bada motor lenge to uski cost zyada hogi theek okay, hai aur uski efficiency bhi obviously if you are running it at no load with lighter loads in that case the efficiency is also going to get poor so in all these cases you will have to uh, optimize your motor rating now how you find it and uh, how you go through the calculations what are required for it the very first thing is that whenever the motor operates it it produces losses theek hai so it produces losses losses mein aapke paas um, iron or core or windage friction losses hote hain ye ye basic losses hote hain aapke paas sare this actually a yields to the heating of the machine theek okay, hai whenever there is any type of an overload what actually happens is that that uh, the machine current is incre- uh, is um, uh, increased beyond the rated value theek okay, hai so that provide uh, that is due to the overload because at rated load the machine current is equal to the rated current so when the machine is overloaded in that case what happens is that that um, the current increases and you have these losses to Uh, these losses getting increased so uh, uh, and if these losses get increased so what happens that heat is produced ye sare losses hain copper hai uh, iron losses hain aur windage friction hai to agar kisi tarah ke bhi losses badhte hain to heat hi produce hoti hai theek hai because uh, that is that uh, extra energy is actually absorbed into the or dissipated into the system theek hai to the motor gets heated up and uh, you provide different types of cooling arrangements for this aapke paas normal air ventilated hoti hai forced air hoti hai theek hai hydrogen cooling bhi hoti hai bade alternators mein isme liquid cooling bhi hoti hai theek hai you have different types of cooling arrangements and you provide a cooling arrangement such that um, the temperature is maintained within limits even in case of uh, rated conditions uh, for uh, running the motor continuously in the rated conditions that means that uh, maximum losses are being taken care of for when you design your cooling system okay on the other side if you see that if you have a conductor that has got a that conductor has always got a certain um, current carrying capacity at standard temperature pressure theek hai koi bhi aap market se conductor lenge so say it can carry 10 amperes of current so it, if it carries 10 amperes of current it means that uh, in at rated conditions that, that means at full 10 ampere it can obviously carry current below 10 amperes but at 10 amperes at a particular temperature the conductor will work satisfactorily that means the conductor properties won't be affected as well as if there is any sort of insulation or it is put in uh, some place it won't burn out okay so uh, that now if the same conductor if put at um, like normal um, cooling normal air exposed cooling is now um, cooled with say forced air theek hai ek conductor tha aapke paas uski 10 ampere rating thi to aap usse jo hai wo normal open conductor usme chala sakte the 10 ampere se safely but now if you uh, provide it with a forced cooling so what will actually happen is that you can carry a larger amount of current through it why because you are you can dissipate now more heat from it 
तो जो आपके पास आई स्क्वायर आर लॉसेस थे जो दस एम्पियर के लिए थे तो आई स्क्वायर मतलब टेन स्क्वायर इंटू आर था तो वो आप फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव तक भी जा सकते हैं आर तो उतना ही रहेगा हम वी एज यू में टू बी कॉन्स्टेंट विद चेंजिंग इवन विद चेंजिंग टेम्परेचर तो बहुत ज़्यादा चेंज भी नहीं होता टेम्परेचर में सो वी एज यू में टू बी कॉन्स्टेंट सो वट एक्चुअली हैपन्स दैट द सेम कंडक्टर इन डिफरेंट कंडीशन कैन एक्चुअली कैरी लार्जर अमाउंट ऑफ करंट ठीक है दिस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग वेन द कूलिंग कंडीशन चेंज सो अगर हम उसी मोटर में जो है नॉर्मल एयर वेंटिलेटेड कूलिंग से फोर्स्ड एयर कूलिंग पे आ जाए तो द मोटर रेटिंग कैन ऑलवेज बी इंक्रीज बाई इंक्रीजिंग द लोडिंग ऑफ द मशीन बिकॉज नाउ इट दीज कंडक्टर्स कैन कैरी लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ करंट ऑन द अदर साइड इफ यू हैव से दिस कंडक्टर टू बी पुट इन ए फर्दर इम्प्रूवड कूलिंग सिस्टम that means hydrogen or something more uh, like that or liquid cooling system in that case the current rating can further be increased on it theek hai so the losses do increase but they are being taken care of the second part of it the always the energy dissipation depends upon time theek hai i square r into t theek hai ye aapke paas energy dissipate hogi ye to i square r to aapke paas power thi jo badh rahi thi i square r into t jo tha energy calculate उसमें आ जाता है कैलकुलेशन आ जाती है हीट की तो इफ यू सी दैट इफ यू वर्क फॉर द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ करंट फॉर लार्जर टाइम देन इन दैट केस द एनर्जी डेसिपेटेड फ्रॉम द सेम सिस्टम वुड बी लार्ज ओके आई स्क्वायर आर ये तो ये कांस्टेंट टर्म हो जाता है और जितने टाइम के लिए आप चलाएंगे उसी हिसाब से वो ही एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस होती है उसमें हीट एनर्जी दैट इज एक्चुअली टू बी डेसिपेटेड फ्रॉम इट ठीक है अभी तक हम पीछे बात कर रहे थे कंटिन्यूस ट्रांसफर ऑफ हीट के लिए तो हमने टाइम की बात नहीं करी थी बट अब नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट इंटरमीडियंट ड्यूटी साइकिल्स ऑफ हीटिंग और लोडिंग इन दैट केस यू हैव सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम फॉर व्हिच द हीट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड ठीक है इफ दैट टाइम इज लार्ज सो लार्जर अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी इज प्रोड्यूस्ड हीट एनर्जी इज प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड यू रिक्वायर larger uh, say better mechanisms of cooling if these are uh, non continuous large currents on the other side ek to uska ye aspect hota hai second aspect is that what it actually helps is that you can load your machine for short intervals with overloads because If you have short intervals, I square R T. मान लीजिए आपके पास टेन करंट आए पड़े थे टेन स्क्वायर आर टी था ठीक है टी आपको मान लीजिए पहले जो कंटिन्यूस रेटिंग के लिए टेम्परेचर मेंटेन करके रख रहा था बट नाउ इफ यू हैव ए करंट ऑफ फिफ्टीन एम्पियर्स से द लॉसेज बिकम ट्वाइस बट से इट हैपन्स फॉर ए सेकेंड और टू और थ्री और फाइव सेकेंड और टेन सेकेंड्स so the amount of heat produced over a long period of time won't be of uh, that much concern theek hai agar 5 second ke liye jo hai wo 15 ampere bhi current chal gayi usme to jo heat produce hui theek hai 225 ho jayega wo 100 se dugna se zyada ho jayega 2.25 times ho jayega but because that that is happening for a very short duration of time so therefore Uh, you can cater that amount of heat because us chote se time mein bhale hi bahut zyada heat produce ho rahi hai dugni se zyada produce ho rahi hai but still the energy is going to uh, be not that much because it is flowing for a very short time this property of the system is uh, utilized when you go for choosing any type of motor this helps a lot why because at times the starting torque of the machine is quite large of the load system is quite large so what you have is that when you connect a machine to it it will draw a very large current to drive that starting torque obviously torque jitna zyada aapke paas uh, rotating effect of force torque kehlata hai aur how torque is produced the force between the current carrying conductor uh, first force produced between a current carrying conductor and a magnetic field to so magnetic field to utta hi hai current conductor mein badhani padegi tabhi torque badhta hai theek hai so if that torque is 
of a higher value, or the requirement is of a higher value, you require a higher amount of stock, a higher amount of current to run through those conductors. So, but that starting torque is for a very short period, only for that period for which the machine speeds up from zero to uh, somewhat uh, higher speed close to rated. So, that is why, um, and that is a period of uh, say one, two seconds or not more than that. So, even if it draws a current of five times the rated current, so that is not a problem because that is happening for one second. If you calculate the energy, uh, go for energy calculations for a continuous long period of operation. So, if you have two seconds of current, you can get a drop in the So, if you have any heat produced, it is going to affect your system anyway. Still, there is an instantaneous capacity of current uh, that a uh, conductor can carry. Okay, so a conductor has two current ratings. Remember this. The first one is the continuous current rating. Uh, that is the current that the, uh, the conductor can carry continuously for infinite time without any hmm, damage to it. Okay. And the second uh, current, uh, current rating is the instantaneous current. Okay. So, instantaneous current means that the maximum current it can carry instantaneously even for a very short period of time. I just have to pass fuse no hota hai, agar bahut zyada te, uh, zyada current aa jati hai, it fuses out. Theek hai, warna ho chalta rehta hai, to the same thing happens ke it will fuse out or burn out. There is a certain value of instantaneous current and that is uh, around 4, 5 times, 6 times, 10 times the rated current for which uh, when applied to a conductor it cannot bear it. So, the um, maximum current that the conductor can bear instantaneously is known as the instantaneous current rating of that conductor. So, if you see a rheostat, because uh, maybe that you people have not seen up till now. So, if you see a rheostat, which you change the resistance, then there are two current ratings. One current rating is written by CONT, that is the continuous current rating, and one INST is written by that is instantaneous current rating. But जो आपके पास normal current rating सारे systems में लिख के आती है, जो आप appliances में देखते हैं, वैसे देखते हैं, that is the continuous current rating. Okay, so don't don't confuse with it. So that is a continuous current rating, and it is the maximum current that a conductor can continuously carry, or that device can continuously carry uh, for infinite period of time. That is supposed to be. Okay. So now, yeah, we can have a large current uh, to flow through the same conductors for a very short period of time and that can um, actually aid us uh, while driving the load when the load torque uh, requires a, uh, when the load torque requires a high starting torque. Okay. So, now we go further, uh, considering this, uh, we will go further into the topic. Okay. Uh, one thing is that uh, we have certain machines, uh, classification of machines that are divided into the classes of um, insulation or heat production and these are the classes of insulation. Class of insulations actually um, A, B, C, uh, A, B, C, uh, F, H and uh, gamma. Uh, these are in the order of increasing temperatures. That means that if you have a gamma uh, rating insulator uh, put on a conductor, that means that it can be a up till a current, uh, up till a temperature of 90 degrees. A type, uh, E type, as a increase of the chale jate hai, and at last you have a C type insulation that can uh, bear uh, a heat of 180 degrees. Heat ki baat hai yahan pe? Because uh, always I square R jo aapke paas produce hota hai, uski wajah se heat produce hoti hai. Ambient heat and temperature aapke paas hoga 35, 40, 45 is zada nahi hoga. But the uh, inside machine temperature increases because of this heat. 
and not all the heat can be taken out very instantaneously. So that is why mm, mm, you put different types of uh, uh, insulators such on conductors that are put in the machines such that uh, and according to the cooling arrangements what you provide. If you want gamma type of insulation or A, you have to give a good cooling mechanism for that. So economically, these are the two confronting things. If you are taking a cheap insulation, then you will keep a lot of cooling system so much. You will keep a cooling system because it has to take a large amount of heat out. So there is a compromise. Engineering is always about a compromise that is done in between. Uh, different parameters and different choices such that the cost of the system is optimized in terms of uh, capital as well as running both and the second thing is that and the most importantly uh, the system has to be reliable okay in sab ke bawajood bhi aapke paas system reliable rehna chahiye aisa nahi hai hum khali paise paise ke chakkar mein ya economy ke chakkar mein uska jo hai reliability of the system se compromise kare so that is why uh, we have different classes of insulation and we have different types of cooling systems what we can provide to the same conductor. Yani wohi conductor jo humne pehle choose kiya hai, koi bhi, jiski ek certain current rating hai, theek hai, at normal uh, temperature and pressure. So uske liye hi hum different types of cooling arrangements or different types of insulate, insulations choose kar sakte hain while choosing that uh, conductor for making your particular um, rating motor. ठीक है। तो ये बात जब सारी हो जाती है, तो इसमें सारी बात जो आपके पास rating की निकल के आती है, while choice of the rating of the motor or selecting the rating of the motor, always two things are important. The very first thing is the temperature rise that is going to happen, and the second thing is that how temperature rise is catered. ठीक है, यानी cooling. ठीक है तो temperature rise and cooling actually decide the rating of the machine that how it can operate. ठीक है the same machine with a better insulation and a better cooling can work for higher rating and the same machine with the lower level of insulation and lower levels of cooling work as derated. यानी उसी साइज की वही मशीन ये दोनों चेंज करने से जो है उसकी रेटिंग बदल जाएगी. ठीक है we are talking about electrical ratings, mechanical की बात नहीं कर रहे कि shaft पे कितना शियर है और ये सब ये सारी ये सारी चीजें हैं लगे ठीक है and one thing also is important over here is that that relates to it is the classes of motor duty ठीक है you have a categorization of classes of motor duty categorization of classes means that you have just wait for a minute let me see if there is something given in this Yes, here are the classes. Upar wali chizam baat milenge. The classes of motor duty means that you can have different types of loads. Aapke paas koi aisa load ho sakta hai ke that runs continuously. That is known as a continuous duty load. Jaisa aapne pangha chala diya, it is going to run for 8 hours, 12 hours, 15 hours, joh kuch bhi hai. Thik hai. So it is like this. Then you can have a short time uh, duty uh, loads that happen for a very short time. Aapne usse on kiya. Koi bhi aasi cheez hai ke say you have a crane. Crane kya hai? Aapne ek jaga se li usse saman ko uthaya le ja ke dousri jaga pe rakh diya. And then the crane is a standstill or running at no load. If you have a lathe machine then uh, you have a cutting of a job from uh, one end up till the other. Then you go for measurements, precising. For that period of time, the motor is running idle. So this is a short period. Again, the intermittent period that um, you have um, again and again things repeating. Punching machine hai aapke paas to punching machine mein kya hai? That you punch it <coughs> and it goes back. Then after a very short period of time, you again punch it. Theek hai, this is an intermittent duty load. Yani, रुक रुक के जो है वो हैपन कर रहा है। Then you have a certain you can have special conditions in all these that you have a continuous duty with the large starting torque, you have a short time duty with the large starting torque, 
यू हैव एन इंटरमेंटेड ड्यूटी विद लार्ज स्टार्टिंग टॉक ठीक है ये सारी चीजें आपके पास हैं ठीक है और इन ड्यूटीज में भी आपके पास चेंज हो सकता है दैट फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम से जैसे आपके पास एक लिफ्ट है ठीक है तो पहले जो है लिफ्ट ऊपर गई ठीक है टेक्स फाइव पीपल विद इन इट ठीक है जब लौट के आई तो तीन लेके आई खाली फिर नीचे से गई तो खाली गई तो यू कैन हैव डिफरेंट साइकिल्स ऑफ ड्यूटीज ठीक है तो लाइक दिस दो दे आर इंटरमीडियंट ऐसा नहीं है कि वो लगातार चल रही है तो दो दे आर इंटरमीडियंट बट स्टिल दे आर चेंजिंग सो यू हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लोड्स व्हाट यू हैव एंड फर्स्ट द लोड इज टू बी क्लासिफाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू इट एंड देन यू गो फॉर योर मोटर सिलेक्शन अब इसमें टेम्परेचर का क्या ड्यूटी ड्यूटी होती रोल होता है इन सारे उसमें दैट इफ यू हैव अ कंटिन्यूस ड्यूटी टाइप ऑफ लोड इन दैट केस आई स्क्वायर आर तो हमेशा रहेगा ही जब भी मोटर रन करेगा टी इज गोइंग टू रिमेन कंटिन्यूसली इन टू द सिस्टम सो द एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस्ड एट द सिस्टम इज ऑलवेज द सेम ठीक है एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी प्रोड्यूस्ड फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो यू विल हैव टू प्रोवाइड अ कूलिंग फॉर सच अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम देन यू हैव अ शॉर्ट टाइम ड्यूटी लोड थोड़ी सी देर को चलता है खाली पर बंद ही पड़ा रहता है ठीक है सो क्या हुआ कि द करेंट फ्लोज फॉर अ वेरी शॉर्ट टाइम आई स्क्वायर आर इन टू टी इवन इफ आई इज वेरी लार्ज टी इज क्वाइट स्मॉल एंड देन द सिस्टम इज गोइंग टू बी केप्ट एट रेस्ट फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो जो हीट प्रोड्यूस भी हो गई अगर उसके अंदर ज्यादा तो इट इज गोइंग टू कूल डाउन ऑन इट सेल्फ उसमें बहुत ज्यादा कूलिंग की कोई जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी ठीक है ऐसे ही इंटरमीडियंट है you may have a chance of uh, getting the machine cooled because the machine cycle or the load cycle is off for a certain period of time in in low load pe chal rahi hai ya chal hi nahi rahi hai so you have a large amount of time in intermittent loads to cool off that machine so the only thing is that what you are concerned over here in case of this selection is that the temperature of the machine or the conductors does not rise beyond the limit beyond the limit of the insulator because when the temperature rises beyond the limit of the insulator the insulation insulation will fail and that will yield to a short circuit theek hai to aapko kuch bhi karna hai chahe aap usme conductor size badhaye chahe aap jo hai कूलिंग सिस्टम अच्छा करें चाहे आप लार्जर टेम्परेचर रेटिंग का इंसुलेशन रहें बट दैट मस्ट नॉट शॉर्ट सर्किट एंड इवन दो यू विल आल्सो हैव टू कॉम्प्रोमाइज ऑन द कॉस्ट दैट मींस ऐसा नहीं है कि एक टेम्परेचर जो है वो अगर 50 100 डिग्री भी पहुंच जाता है तो आप उसमें जो है सी क्लास का इंसुलेशन लगा दें जो वन एटी तक बेयर कर सकता है ऑब्वियसली इट कैन बियर अप टू दैट बट ए सीयर सी क्लास इंसुलेशन वुड बी वेरी कॉस्टली आई विल मेक द मशीन वेरी कॉस्टली so that is why you will have to go for an optimization in the in choosing the cost of a system theek hai to uske baad jo hai jaise aapke paas ye curve aap dekh rahe hain so what you have you have a theta that is the temperature and t is time ki wo yahan temperature ko t se nahi denote kiya hai kyunki time t se chalta hai electrical engineering mein standard jo hai wo t टाइम के लिए लिया जाता है और थीटा जो है वो टेम्परेचर के लिए लिया जाता है ठीक है सो क्या हुआ कि एज द टाइम इंक्रीजेस इट द हीटिंग इंक्रीजेस देन द मशीन स्टॉप एट दिस पॉइंट देन द कूलिंग गोज लाइक दिस ठीक है तो जितना ज्यादा कूलिंग पीरियड होगा आपके पास उतना ज्यादा आप हीट प्रोड्यूस करा सकते हैं एंड इट विल बी गेटिंग कूल्ड अगर ये यहीं पर ऑन हो जाएगा वापस तो यू विल बी हैविंग ए लार्जर अमाउंट ऑफ हीट प्रोड्यूस एंड अकॉर्डिंगली यू विल हैव टू मेक अरेंजमेंट्स फॉर डिसिपेशन ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर अमाउंट ऑफ हीट ठीक है बाकी सारी चीजें इस टॉप में कुछ बहुत ज्यादा मुश्किल नहीं है ठीक है दीज आर सिंपल थर्मोडाइनमिक इक्वेशन के हीट प्रोड्यूस कितनी है और ये कितना है ठीक है यू हैव अपलोडेड इट यू जस्ट गो थ्रू इट यू कैन फाइंड आउट दीज थिंग्स टू बी क्वाइट सिंपल ठीक है तो इसमें थोड़ा सा मैथमेटिक्स है बाकी और कुछ भी नहीं है और थोड़ी सी जो है वो थर्मल इंजीनियरिंग है थर्मल भी इंजीनियरिंग इतनी ही है कि जो ये आपका फॉर्मूला लिखा हुआ है कि हीट डेवलप्ड माइनस हीट डेसिपेटेड और ये हीट डेवलप्ड और हीट डेसिपेटेड कैसे निकालते हैं तो टोटल एनर्जी इन द मशीन जो है आपके पास इतनी ही बनती है ओके सो यू गो थ्रू दिस टॉपिक एंड दिस द मटीरियल फॉर दिस हैज बीन अपलोडेड ऑन यर क्लासरूम 
Still, if you want to ask anything uh, regarding the, uh, the selection of motor rating um, according to the heat um, constraints, uh, you can ask. Anybody? Chalo, theeka then. Uh, we'll be meeting uh, most probably on next Monday. Thank you.